Welcome to All Problems and No Solutions. This is the podcast where we talk about all of our problems from life to work to career. Basically, if we have a problem, you're going to hear about it. Um, I'm here today with Madison Greenlee. Hello. I'm Cameron Lee. And what's our problem today, Maddie? Feeding our souls. <laughs> yeah. How, how do you feed your soul? How do I become happy? How do I become happy? <laughs> um... All jokes aside, it's a super important thing for creative designers Mm -hmm. or just creatives in general. Mm -hmm. Really, people in general. Having something outside of having something outside of your job is super important. Yes, and not easy (laughs) to find. Yeah, it's it's super hard. I mean, everybody has their hobbies and you know what they like to do. But making time for that is not always the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. Um, For some people, it might be family Mm -hmm. and that, you know, and for other people, it might be like jumping off cliffs. Well, I I think, I mean, adrenaline junkies. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, how, how do we find what makes us happy? What, what fills our souls? I think it's always good to try something new every week. Yeah. One thing. Every week. Okay, maybe not every week, but one thing. I mean, I'm all for it. Well, like just once, you know, yeah. it doesn't have to be like everything every single day, but like if you have the time on the weekends, just try one new thing. Doesn't have to be long, doesn't mm-hmm. have to take you hours on end. It could just be like starting a project. Like if you don't paint, try painting. And this is how to find find what makes us um Find what fills our souls, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, anything can fill your soul, I guess. I mean, it's whatever, like, it's the things that, like, make you feel good outside of just your daily routine of get up, mm-hmm. do your work, go to bed, stuff like that. Find, having something to look forward to mainly. Right. That you right. enjoy, I think. Um, so, like. That's why I think, like, if you don't have that right now, like, trying something new every once in a while, it's probably good. Just, like, a new, picking up, like, a new hobby, trying it once, seeing if you like it. If you don't like it, don't do it. (laughs) But. Right. If you do. So, I mean, then how do we find time to do this kind of stuff? I don't know. That's that's the problem, (laughs) I guess. I think really just. Setting aside a portion of your weekend or a portion of the night, you know, an hour, two hours, you know, 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be long. Mm -hmm. You can just do it in. I mean, (laughs) spare time is kind of so, you know, it it, it's not super abundant. No, we don't have a whole ton of spare time these days. Um, But. I think there's still potential for us to to do things that that fill us up, right? Yeah. Um I mean doodling is a big one of those things. Hmm. Even though I'm sure you and I both don't do enough of it. No. We can <laughs> I don't think I really we, do so that we much. both enjoy it and it's something simple that, you know, you can do idly, you know. Um oftentimes I see people do that in meetings. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> all the time all these useless meetings perfect time for you to fill your soul <laughs> uh, <laughs> no pay attention to the meeting but if you like doodling i mean and it keeps you you know focused i'll say sometimes it does help what are, what are some of the what are some of our um hobbies that that fill us up fill our souls fill our, <laughs> fill our souls i mean eating is a hobby i suppose so that fills us up. <laughs> good, yes, good food. Good um, food. No, I. She's a nerd, and I'm she likes D and D. I like D and D. I also like D and D as well. I, I mean, I've gotten quite busy with it lately, but I mean, I am a part of a campaign with people at my work, which is kind of nice because I mean, I've made some pretty cool friends Mm -hmm. with that at my work people that I like I am now comfortable spending outside time with which is nice you know got to know them a little bit better and now I'm hosting a campaign first time DM 
um, with only years of <laughs> D and D experience in total, with a bunch of our friends. And yeah, that is, and I mean, friends a are ton of fun. Part of those, part of that thing that fills your soul, you know, spending time with good people and having some brews and mm -hmm. get, it's, getting some good food and I mean, just laughing together. You know, it's one of those things that started with podcasts. And I mean, we are introverts. We are introverts yes. and we still really enjoy hanging out with these people. Mm -hmm. And we always feel like we never get enough time with them. So, yeah. you know, we, find people that you want to surround yourself with and quality friends over quantity of friends. It works out, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I mean, we also we're not just inside people. We love no. doing hiking and we camping. Like going outdoors. And we wish we could do it a whole lot more. And that's kind of what the last podcast was about is being able to free ourselves. Yeah. Um, from the, the chains of the employer <laughs> um, and you being able to work for ourselves. I think that's another, I mean, that's something it's that fills important. up, fills my soul is being able to, to do those kinds of things. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I mean, I wish I could have more hobbies. I do. I do really enjoy what yeah. I've created. I like being able to like do like D and D that is, I never thought that that would be something that I would actually really enjoy, but it's, so much fun and i could talk about it for hours mm -hmm. honestly at this point and like well but. yeah i mean like you there so i mean you can get as involved into a hobby as you want that's like, true i mean it's all up to you you could just do something for a week and be like oh okay i did it that was fun I tried and then you drop it <laughs> um like and you can continue to circle through hobbies you don't have to yeah. stick with one you, don't you have, have so many hobbies. Yeah, don't feel like you have to stick with one. And I don't, think. I mean, if you don't, don't try scheduling it either. I feel like just yeah. do it when you want. I mean, if that if that works for you, um, sorry, we're distracted by my <laughs> dripping air conditioning that we have to fix. Um, we have to figure out what. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's boy. okay. Um, don't don't schedule your hobbies unless that works for you. If you need to schedule them, yes, you know, pick a time, set a time that time, set aside that time. Wow, um, you know, if you like going to the gym, one of our friends likes to go to the gym certain days. Of you the like week. going to the I gym? I like going too. to the gym too. I really do enjoy going to the gym. But I mean, we've got a friend that she she's got a schedule for her gym days and like a lot and listen a lot of people do that's how you get better and stuff yeah, like schedules that. But, make a lot of people happy and, but they make me and maddie cringe oh my and god not want to do it it makes i don't know what it is to do this no nope, not for me we got to plan one thing for that day and that's and it if we accomplish that that's perfect that's perfect um but you know obviously we end up doing more in that day because we're feeling motivated and filled up right i i mean yeah. And like, I lost my train of thought. I mean, I just, I wasn't sure. I, it's one of those things where like, I mean, something that I've discovered is I didn't want to go to the gym all the time, but I like going to the gym, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to do it because I was tired and mm -hmm. I was unmotivated and, but now I've started writing it down when I do go. Right. Makes it better. Yeah. Cause now I'm like, Oh look, I went like three times this week. I think you also can't put a whole ton of expectations on on the things that fill you up. Don't right? pressure yourself. It, if if you want to go out and do it, do it. But if you don't have the energy to do it, yeah. Sometimes that's okay. Just relax. <laughs> you don't have to have the energy for everything all the time, which is something that I struggle with. Yeah, me too. Being overly productive and trying feeling bad that I wasn't productive that day is something that definitely takes away from the enjoyment of those activities. Right? Uh, honestly, yeah. And sometimes I pack my weekends so full that I can't do anything for me. Right. Which is hard for me because mm -hmm. I need that time for we myself. We all need that time. We all need that time for ourselves. And so it's like, you know, if you, if you pack your weekends, it's kind of hard. But I mean, it, it is, you know, to each their own. Yeah. If you like packing your weekends and that makes you feel rested and relaxed, by all do means it. do that. You know, 
do what you love. <laughs> the introverts in us do not like that. <laughs> do not want to do that. We want to curl up on the couch and watch something or go to sleep. Go to sleep. Anything. Yeah. You know, it it really is don't like don't feel bad about what you're doing. Just, you know. If it makes you happy. If it makes you happy, do it. Unless it's hurting somebody else. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you know, get out. Here, Here's my thing is you should all get out and enjoy nature. It's super fun. Um, be responsible stewards of those areas that you're going to. Don't leave trash. Don't leave trash. Pick up after yourself. Yes. Don't step on the wildflowers. Oh, my God. That's a whole nother <laughs> subject. Um. But, you know, just go and experience the world. There's so much out there. There is. There's so much out there. You don't have to go to a bar or like. You don't have to spend money friends. to be happy. You don't have to spend money to go and do enjoyable things. I, you could go look at rocks. Who doesn't I love like, rocks. I love rocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's a really cool glass beach that I want to go to at some point. It's in California, though. Yeah. But like if I ever but go to California and I want to go see that. Go to the park. Go, you know, go look at ducks. Ducks are pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, go feed them. Just kidding. Don't don't feed the animals. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. Maddie's a bad example. Um, hey. <laughs> but yeah, I mean I guess the problem is really just solving itself, you know, if if you just do the things you like to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's super important that you do those things because burnout is a real thing. Mm -hmm. And it comes with every job, not just creative ones. No, I mean, it's everywhere. Yeah. Especially if you're overworked. Yeah. Or if you're overworking yourself, don't overwork yourself either. Right. And if you right. are, don't push i mean just don't push yourself too much i mean it's a it is healthy to push yourself to do things by all means like right. if you stay hungry grow, but don't starve <laughs> right if you want to do well and you want to grow and get better at what you want to do push yourself in that way but don't like overwork yourself to the point where you are like passing out every night mm -hmm. and then don't have the time to do the things that you want to do because you're passing out and then waking up and you have to go to work comes back it's like a comes cycle. back to that like quality over quantity kind of thing mm -hmm. you know if you're if you're well rested and you know you're putting it you're putting out good work yeah but you know the work starts to diminish or the quality of work starts to diminish the less you feel good about it mm -hmm. the that's why like work workplace culture is so important and work-life balance is so important it's because that Efficiency goes away when you're unhappy. Mm. Um, yeah. Workplace culture is great. It can be. If it, I mean, yes. If it's it, handled by your, your workplace, well, but, yeah, you know, that that's a subject for another, <laughs> another episode. Look at us coming up with all these things. Um, so, yeah, go, go to your green spaces and enjoy mm. some some good food, some good company. Read a book in the park. Read a book. I don't read books very much, but read a book. If you enjoy reading, read a book. Do what you enjoy. That's that's the that's main the, takeaway. Yeah, that's the main message here. Do, um, do what makes you happy. And who cares what other people think? Right. If it makes you happy? Just do it. There you go. Is that is that a TM trademark? Shh. <laughs> all right <laughs> i think that's enough for this episode do what makes you happy and uh do what makes us happy and like comment subscribe <laughs> um we'd love to hear what, what what makes you guys happy so you know and we're know. not just saying that we actually do want to want to hear so let us know I what you enjoy you to leave some comments <laughs> maybe we'll maybe we'll try some stuff out yeah try new things very good bye bye bye, bye.